Hey guys, it's Nicole. I know, oh, you can't see my camera. See maybe like the tip of it, but I am right now in my bathroom. I decided I would do a little bit of a night routine, which is not very extensive for me because I just don't do much at nighttime. I've been seeing more of these videos and I thought it would be fun to do one with you guys. Maybe you can do your night routine with me. Maybe you can get some ideas for your night routine from this video. Let's just hang out a little bit. So first I want to talk about that some nights I'll have this Four Sigmatic Mushroom Hot Chocolate Mix and I just mix it with either some almond milk and sometimes I'll do like half almond milk, half water, I'll do cashew milk, whatever. I just mix it with whatever you want. You can actually even just mix it with plain water but I don't think it tastes good that way. I'm also realizing my mirror is probably dirty so that's so with the force somatic, I just like to drink that and relax me and I come to the bathroom. First step is anytime I'm doing anything with my face, which that's most of my nighttime routine, I will wash my hands. I make sure to wash my hands before I do anything with my face just because you if there is bacteria or anything on your hands and then you use your hands to wash your face, it's kind of counterproductive. So just make sure to take care of that. And then obviously you want to give your hands a dry. And then next what I will do, I'll put on some face wash. Right now I am just using this 365 Everyday Value. 365 is Whole Foods brand if you're not aware of it. All of the ingredients are super basic. I just prefer that. I do have kind of sensitive skin when I was younger. It took my mom a while to figure out what body wash I could use because if I use super scented things, I'll actually get rashes. So I do have to make sure to use something that works well with my skin and usually keeping it pretty basic works well. Before I take my facial cleanser, all I do is I wash my face with, well, not even wash it, just like rinse it with some lukewarm water. You want to make sure not to use boiling hot water because that's just really bad for your skin. So I just take a little bit of my facial cleanser. And then after I use a face wash, I make sure to rinse it off with cold water because that cleans everything. And then also that makes sure that your pores close so that they're stayed closed and they're not open for dirt to get back in, if that makes sense. One tip that I would give everyone is to use a completely clean washcloth instead of using the same towel they use to dry your body because your body has different bacteria than your face does. So if you're using that same towel, you're actually spreading bacteria to your face again. Again, the whole point of cleaning your face and keeping your skin looking great to keep things as basic, as clean, as possible. Really good skincare comes from the inside out, so if you're eating well, drinking a lot of water, moving your body, you really only have to do very simple things to keep your skin looking great. After that, what I will take, I don't use like facial serum instead. I use jojoba oil and I've used in the past just vitamin E oil, I've used rose hip oil, and I think jojoba works the best for me. So all I do is take a very little amount and then I take it on my hands, I don't rub it in my hands before I use it, I just take this foam out on my hands, pat it on my face, and then wipe it in. And it takes a while to like for your skin to really soak it in, but I found that this helps for me because after I use a face wash, my skin gets very dry and it's because it's clean and like you're really wiping away the oils and the dirty oils, but you want to rehydrate your face again because if you don't then you're going to go to sleep and your face is going to be dry throughout the night and when your face is dry it actually can one provoke breakouts and two it's just you want to keep it healthy and young looking and when your face is dry especially for several hours it can age quicker and not that aging is bad aging isn't terrible but you want to stay looking lively that's my goal at least so i put a little bit of that and um previously i would put some on and then actually take a little face um, swab, cotton swab thing, and wipe the excess, but I realized that that wasn't really beneficial for me, so instead now I just use a small amount and really rub it in and like let it dry for a bit. And then the final step, what I'll do is I take the Shea Moisture African Back Soap Problem Skin Moisturizer with tamarind extract and tea tree oil, longest name ever, and I just take a small amount, and again, instead of rubbing it in my hands, I just dab it on my skin and then rub it in my skin. Make sure to get my neck too. That's something I've learned recently that you need to be moisturizing your neck as well. I feel like it's just easy to forget because it's just, I don't know, it's there. It's keeping your head on your body, but yeah, you don't really remember all the time. Put the excess face lotion, jojoba oil on your hands because you want to keep your hands nice and moisturized too. Well, nice and moisturized too. And then that's about it with my skincare, well, my face skincare. The final step that I would do, um, because I'm going to sleep soon, is I will take one magnesium pill. I switched from taking magnesium in the morning to at night because I did 
find out that it helps relax you and relieve anxiety. So like, I don't know, I could probably take it during the day, it would be fine, but if it's gonna relieve anxiety, make you feel relaxed, it's nice to take it at night because then you can just sleep more peacefully. Women especially, please make sure you're taking your magnesium because it is so, so, so essential for our hormones and just many other things, especially for women. Obviously it's important for men too, but especially for women. And then I lay in bed, I either watch a few YouTube videos, I read, I just wait until I fall asleep and then that is about it. One last thing, if I'm wearing makeup, I will use one of these wipes first and just wipe that off. Oh, my battery's about to die real quick. And then every once in a while, I'll use a face mask. I have these like little sheets, this charcoal clay one, this blackhead mask one, sorry, it's not focused. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little bit entertaining. I hope you got some tips. Maybe you didn't use skincare with me. Let's just, get a little dance going on, I guess. And I hope you enjoy hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.